Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of the Galactic Ruler Tutorial Series, sponsored by Battlegoat Studios. Today we're going to be talking about military production, how to build our military units. Um, and honestly, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go over all the steps associated with producing land, sea, air, and space units, and uh, what you need to produce them. So, first we're going to go into space and we're going to produce some space units now i'm actually already in the middle of producing some space units so what you do is you come into the defense department tab and you'll see your four branches of the uh, we'll just say your military your land your air your sea and your space space has a galaxy symbol sea obviously is water air is the wind and obviously land is the little little mountains. Now, a few things you need to know. Number one, the available slots. Available slots is how much you have available to produce at a current time. So right now, I have one land fabrication, I have one air fabrication, one naval fabrication, and two space docks um, here on my main planet here. I'll show you by going into the recon tab. And there we go, we have an orbital shipyard there and another orbital shipyard there. Well, that little notification. So you need to build your units in the associated fabrication uh, building. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down to the planet. You'll see specifically on the screen, they're grayed out. Um, you cannot build land, sea, or air units in space and vice versa, you can't build space units on the ground. There's a little red button here, which is the auto build. If you have that turned on, the AI will build whatever, you, uh, whatever it wants. Um, you can tell it over here, I believe, do, 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 do. what focus you want it to do when it comes to, uh, when it comes to stuff over here and over here, you can tell it, Hey, you know, I want you to auto build my army, my air force, my Navy, and kind of go through all the different things. If you want them also to auto deploy. So once a unit is built, it will deploy automatically. And also over here, a unit um, to be continuous, meaning if you want it just to cont continuously or just constantly build one unit at a time, just one unit all the time. Now it's not gonna be just that one unit that one time, but it'll be like that specific unit. So we can say, hey, this light uh, infantry mark four vehicle, I want you to continuously produce it. Then we hit the button. And boom, there we go. So from now on, if we only have one constru uh, construction slot um, or production slot, it will only produce the light mark to uh, the light uh, light infantry. Now, if we have more than one production, we could build multiple units at once. So I'll show you how to do that. So over here by our capital, we have right here, bring up the recon tab. We have our, oops, sorry, that's our barracks. Our land fabrication so each land fabrication gives you one production slot and then over here is our whoops that's our aircraft there there yep aircraft production there's our aircraft production slot all the way over here we have our naval production now think about naval units naval units are defensive to the planet that they're built on they cannot be transferred to other planets um, unlike layer layer land and sea units um, those can be transported over to uh, into orbit to be transferred to ships to be landed part of an invasion or to be transferred as an occupation force um, on a colony for security purposes <laughs> and things like that um, that's pretty simple in regards to how to transport the units so for example i have right here three light infantry units in my capital you just click and drag and i say hey load to orbit Double click, and momentarily those guys will disappear. There we go, they are gone. But where they are is actually the recon tab. Where is my, no, where is my orbital station? So they're currently in our orbital station here. You can see our three light infantry. You can also see your crates. Um, I forgot to mention this in the previous episode. This is currently set to be shipped out via the merchant AI, which we'll see in this video coming in and out. You can, if I'm not mistaken, attack them if you wanted to, but there's no point. Okay, so we're just going to let our little fighters here and all that stuff build while I talk about the next thing that you want to 
do here. So if you want to increase your overall production, oh, you want it. There we go. You need to build more facilities. How do you build more facilities? Pretty simple. Right click on the screen, go to build, military, and then for example, let's go with um, land production. We're going to build two land production in this, in this location. Or in conjunction, you can, on your defense tab, select your ground units from over here, select facility controls, and click build facilities. Now, make sure that you have selected, obviously, uh, lane production, and we can produce them wherever we wish. Um, there, we're gonna build them there. So we're now building, how many are we building there? I misclicked. Uh, oh, I didn't actually pick land production. That's the reason why that didn't work. <laughs> I'm a professional. We're gonna go with land production. Build, there we go. I never actually changed what my production uh, my, what my production was going to be. So there we go. So we've now built two extra land production. We've actually built uh, four extra land production. So now if we come over here, you will see when I come to the building option, there's now five building options. We had the original one and we built four more. So we have five building production. And right now, there is that mark to, there is that light infantry we were uh, producing. To produce additional units, you can go to available here as well and pick, for example, land and say, hey, I also want to continuously build that guy. Some recon units wouldn't be too bad. Let's go with an amphibious one here. Tank, let's go with an amphibious tank. Uh, let's go with some artillery. Gotta go with clad trap. I believe that's five, three, four, five, yep. So what will happen is these five units will be queued up in our little production tab here and we'll constantly now be building until I say otherwise. There are multiple different types of military units. So there's infantry, recon units, tanks, artillery, air defense, and transport units. Transport units can do just that. They can transport supply in addition to troops. They can move them around for you. Uh, tanks, obviously hard hitting targets, um, high in the, uh, the heart attack, um, susceptible obviously to soft attack. Uh, or not susceptible to soft attack. Um, unlike infantry, which has soft attack, we'll talk about, if we double click, the stats of a unit. So right here you see the military strength of the unit. Here is the overall energy of the unit, fuel. Here we see how much ammo the unit has, so in this case 73. The combat time, so this is how long a unit can engage for before it needs to basically rearm and re-equip. This is its spotting range, or how far it can actually see. Here is its overall fortification attack. So if it's attacking a military fortification um, or a you know, entrenched location, it'll do 11 fortification attack. Soft attack, how much it does damage to a soft unit or a soft target. Hard target, hard attack. Surface attack, so warships, if there's a ship. The overall defense it has for close defense, if it's fighting in like a town or a city, what have you. Overall ground defense. If it has cargo capacity, whether it can carry other units or supply, which is very important, how fast it can go. So in this case, it can go 108 kilometers up to a hundred, uh, up to 600 kilometers before it needs to refuel. Here, all overall is its weight and displacement. So this is if you're transporting the unit, you need to know how much it weighs, so you know how much units you can put in your transports. Uh, it's initiative, so you know high initiative, low initiative basically how it attacks. The overall profile, the higher the number, the more stealthy the unit is. Close air attack, mid air attack, high air attack, overall close attack. It's air defense and last but not least, it's indirect defense. So if it's being shelled by artillery. So those are all pretty important options. You can also click here and say, this is an excluded unit. I don't want to see it. This is just a st standard unit, you just see it, or favorites. Remember there was the option in your option menu. Um, but, oh, right here. For favorite units, excluded units, etc. So if you see a unit that you just don't like, that you're never gonna use, you can actually just say, hey, I don't wanna see this one, and it'll you won't see it. So all the units have the different stats, obviously, um, all under the same stat umbrellas that they have. So some will be higher, some will be lower. Like this is a light infantry. 
don't expect it to be doing much except going in and occupying locations and being a secondary unit, maybe something that can push through some locations. Armor, on the other hand, is meant to hit, punch through lines, and do lots and lots of damage. We will look at our space born stuff real quick here. So we have fighters or interceptors, attack fighters, things like that, or capital ships or battle cruisers, command cruisers, cruisers themselves, carriers for our fighter aircraft and our attack aircraft, destroyers, escorts. Uh, we have our engineers that can build us uh, all our different facilities and things like that. Planetary engineers, these are guys that can actually jump with FTL into other planets. Um, you can see that by when we actually go into uh, one of the other tabs there, you'll be able to see, like right there, for example, right there, a stellar engineer, capable of FTL to other systems, which we'll show in the next video uh, when it comes to warfare. Patrol, these are patrol units, so your corvettes, your survey ships, uh, which you'll use to go and survey other systems, planets, etc. Survey drones, which are more of just your initial section, your initial base, which we'll show. Um, how the survey system works in the next video and then last but not least your transports very important that you have enough supply built into your transports so transports that are just supply um systems so they will go with your fleets to give them fuel give them ammunition especially when in combat when in combat and when combat occurs they will drain units will drain through their ammo depending on how big the fight is very quickly and, and very often. So you always have to remember, hey, there's the Merchant AI right there. I mentioned it in one of the previous videos and there it is right there. So what will happen is you might run out of fuel, you might run out of ammo and your units will withdraw once they get to a certain point if they do not have that supply. Supply is very important. So you always gotta remember with your, with your, your battle groups, which we'll do in another video as well, you need to have that supply. So overall, that's how you build your units. The way you unlock them is through your research, uh, which we'll talk about in another video as well in regards to how research works and what research is and does. One thing I do wanna mention, um, in the next video as well when it comes to research is models. Models change depending on what you research. So with that in mind, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.